Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with an opening of the Kaiba 2016 Megaton. So let's get into this. This set is just so awesome. I always love the Megatons. I didn't like their omissions of a lot of cards this time around, but we still did get a bunch of really cool reprints like Solemn Strike, the Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, I can't get this thing open, so excuse me for that. Should have brought scissors to this. But. And of course, the Kaibatin has a ton of really amazing promos. There we go. Finally got this thing open. I don't have nails. I play the stringed instrument. It's impossible to keep your fingernails long. So that's why I usually get scissors, but I thought they were long enough this week to be able to get through. Anyway, the tin has Spirit Dragon on either side. So that's pretty cool. And then the parts of Obelisk that would be foil like his eyes are actually foil on the tin, which is pretty cool. And actually, I guess it's just the eyes, not the gem on his forehead. All right, crack right into this. We'll start off with our promo pack here. And let's see, we'll put the promo here. We'll open these in just a bit. So first off, I really do like the gods in their secret rare form. We had received the Gold Secrets, we've received the Mosaic Rares, a bunch of Ultra Prints, but they weren't even like the original artwork, so it's really, really cool to see this like this, even if it's a promo. I just don't like how cards like the Gods don't have number codes here, but they still have limited edition offset as if they have a number. That's just weird to me. Blue Eyes White Dragon with its original artwork looks really pretty. Spirit Dragon is a very welcome reprint for a very hard to pull secret. DDD Gust King Alexander. Aether, the Empowering Dragon, and Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, which is a very awesome promo for this pack of tins. And that's what really sets this tin apart from that Yugi one, I think. it's The promos are more usable by everyone. So, let's get into our Mega Tins. Mega Packs. Let's see. Performa Pal Camelump. Dark Contract with the Swamp King. Dark Doriado. Mystery Shell Dragon. Raid Raptor Mimicry Lanius. Aroma Jar, that's nice. Pull that. Performa Pal Gitartle. Gitartle as our rare. Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight as our ultra. Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon as our secret. And a super rare DDD Wave King Oblivion Caesar Ragnarok. So overall, that first pack, I do like the Odd Eyes Rebellion. The rest kind of I could do without, but whatever. DDD Human Resources. Alu Mirage. Side effects, I love this card. Your opponent draws up to three cards, and then you gain 2,000 life for each one they drew. So, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting card. Fright for March, Raid Raptor Sharplanius, and Mistaken Accusation. Pack number two. So we have... Engraver of the Mark is a fun common card. I think it was a TCG exclusive at first, or world premiere card. I'm not certain on that, but I feel like it might have been... It looks like Zoro anyway, that's the reference. Performage Flame Eater, Raid Raptor Wild Vulture, Karma of the Destruction Swordsman, Super Heavy Samurai Magnet, Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch, Extra Buck, the first time I pulled one of these in these tins. Uh, each time a card or cards is added from your extra deck or to your extra deck, so like Pendulum Monsters, you place a spell counter on this, max three, you can send this with three counters to the graveyard to draw two. Ignite Templar is an interesting ultra, Raffalese is a good secret, and Fluffle Mouse is a fun super as well. I remember this thing originally started off as like a $3 super post reprint, and then it tanked to like 60 cents. But we have Performage, Stilts Launcher, Super Soldier Soul, Forbidden Apocrypha, this is a good card, Phantom Griffin, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, and Kyoto Waterfront. So Apocrypha basically says, it's a normal trap, declare an extra deck monster card type, so Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz. If two or more monsters of the declared type are anywhere on the field, make each player send all of those monsters from the field to the grave. So if you're playing against a deck like my brilliant Magical Reptiles, just send all my Xyz to the grave. It's horrible, but, you know, I mean, it hits a lot of strategies because a lot of strategies are streamlined to bring out one kind of monster. And you can easily snare your opponent who's trying to rely on them. So I wouldn't be surprised if that shows up inside decks. Super Soldier Rebirth, Tam Tam the Melodious Diva, Kaiju Capture Mission, Twilight Ninja Nichirin the Chudnin, Shiranui Style Synthesis, Perform of House Silverclaw, which I believe was supposed to be a jump promo. It was like, um, it was, oops, uh, it was actually a potential jump promo uh, that people could vote for. Tune Buster Blader, the Super Soldier Shield that we accidentally got a sneak preview of. This is the first one I've seen in more than a case now, so Solemn Strike, there we go. Awesome secret rare to make our, I guess our Kaiba tins better than um, 
our Yugi Chins this time. We have uh, Zhang K Magician as our super. And we have Raid Raptor singing Lanius, DDD, or DD7, Kepler, Zany Zebra. I just don't like the artwork on this card. It just looks really weird to me. But um, Shiranui Samurai, Harmonic Oscillation, and Magic Spectre Tempest. So let's do a quick recap. Our rares, three rares are these, so pretty good. I think these two are Bosch, and this is maybe Bosch. Um, supers, we have these here, like that mouse and that giant donut. Well, I guess if the donut's normal, then the mouse is a giant. We have the Templar, Super Soldier Shield, and Charging Guy, so I guess these two go together quite nicely. And our secrets, including our Solemn Strike. So these are actually very good. These were both Bosch secrets, too, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite card in the 2016 Megaton set is, and if there were any favorite archetypes of yours that weren't included. I know there were a couple that I wish I had, but... I mean, what are we going to do? Maybe they're going to do a third wave of these tins with all those, with like Ra and Merrick as one of the tins. They've done a third or second wave of the tins before, so maybe they'll do something like that. I don't know. But yeah, and uh, if you think I did well or poorly on this tin, I think the Solemn Strike helps sell this one in particular, but, you know, let me know what you thought of this tin opening. So thanks, guys. This is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.